Welcome to Reflect on This. Hello, I am Johnny Henshaw. This is the podcast version of devotionals I send to my family and friends. In these devotionals, I share the things I'm learning about the ways and nature of God through applying my study of the scriptures to the world around me. And don't forget to keep listening at the conclusion of today's episode to hear about my recommended resources, such as podcasts that I find helpful and encouraging, books that inspired some of these episodes, and ministries that I want you to know about. So let's get started. Please join me today as we reflect on this. Today, let's continue our review of Dr. Chris Thurman's book entitled, The Lies We Believe, as we identify some common lies we believe about others from chapter 5 of the book and the corresponding biblical truths that displace those lies and lead to freedom. Number one, people can meet all of my needs. That's a lie. The truth is Only God can meet all of my needs, so I must rely on Him. Psalm 28, 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart rejoices, and I praise Him with my song. Number two, others should accept me just as I am. That's a lie. But the truth is, people need to accept each other, but challenge one another to grow. Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen says, Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. I am to be accountable to fellow believers and open to change based on their feedback. Galatians 6, 1 through 2. Brothers, if someone is caught in any wrongdoing, you who are spiritual should restore such a person with a gentle spirit, watching out for yourselves, so you won't also be tempted. Carry one another's burdens. In this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. I am to be open and vulnerable to trustworthy believers. James 5.16 says, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The urgent request of a righteous person is very powerful in its, in its effect. Lie number three. To get along, everyone needs to think, feel, and act the same way. But the truth is this. People are God's masterpieces and designed to be unique. Psalm 139, 1 through 3 says, Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. You are one body, the body of Christ, with many members, each with a role. 1 Corinthians 12, 14 and 17 through 18 says, So the body is not one part, but many. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But now God has placed each one of the parts in one body, just as he wanted. Lie number four, others are more messed up than me. But the truth is this, I should first examine myself before I point out other people's issues. Matthew 7, 3 through 5 says, Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but don't notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, and look, there's a log in your eye. Hypocrite, first take the log out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Lie number five, people who hurt me have to earn my forgiveness. But the truth is this, people cannot earn my forgiveness, nor should I require this of them. Colossians 3.13 says, Be gentle and forbearing with one another. And if one has a difference, a grievance, or a complaint against another, readily pardon each other. Even as the Lord has freely forgiven you, so must you also forgive. 
I am to forgive as God has forgiven me, so that bitterness will not develop. Ephesians 4, 31-32 says, All bitterness, anger, and wrath, shouting and slander must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. Any unforgiveness I harbor in my heart will impede the flow of God's forgiveness to me. Mark 11.25 says, Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions. If I have feelings of anger toward someone, I should ask for God's help in evaluating those feelings. My feelings of anger are sometimes a warning of a threat to personal safety, but usually they are an indicator of unyielded rights. I am to give my expectations to God, following the example of Jesus. Philippians 2, 5-8 says, Make your own attitude that of Christ Jesus, who, existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used for his own advantage. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a slave, taking on the likeness of men. And when he had come as a man in his external form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. And lie number six. People only think about themselves. If others do something kind, they always want something in return. But the truth is this. I am to treat others the same way that I want to be treated. I am to expect the best of person's actions and motives because that is the way I want to be treated. Matthew seven twelve says this. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you, for this is the law and the prophets. O oh God, when we find ourselves thinking one of these lies, please bring to our mind the corresponding biblical truths that will displace the lie and lead us to freedom that you have designed for us to walk in by the power of your indwelling Holy Spirit. Today's featured resource is the Bible Study software package entitled eSword. This free Bible study software is available for download to a wide range of computers and mobile devices, including Windows and Mac computers, and Apple and Android tablets and phones. The download includes several free public domain resources, including Bibles, dictionaries, commentaries, devotionals, and maps. You can then download from within the eSword program many more free public domain resources. You can optionally purchase whatever copyrighted resources you want to create a powerful study library. One of the greatest benefits of Bible study with this software is the multi-window display so that you can simultaneously have windows open to a Bible translation, a dictionary, and a commentary. They are automatically linked so that if you select a verse, then the corresponding entry in the selected dictionary and commentary are displayed. You can also easily compare Bible translations by viewing them in parallel windows. For the Bible translations that have embedded Strong's numbers, referencing the corresponding Hebrew or Greek word, you can hover over a Strong's number and a tooltip pops up with the Strong's definition for that word. To learn more and to get a free download of this amazing study tool, on your computer, go to esword.net. That's e-sword.net. On your mobile device, go to your app store and search for e-sword. That's e-sword.